Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. I wanted to show you in the shop today my kind of DIY IKEA hack saw table rig. Okay? I can't wait. You're excited. <laughs> These guys are excited. Yeah? Alright, let's go. It's right here. Isn't it exciting? That roar you hear in the background is our furnace, so if I turn it off, I'll forget to turn it back on. This is called a compound miter saw. It's also called a chop saw. Um, this one, you can cut things like this. It'll slide and cut things. It's a very versatile saw. The cool thing is what I've done is I've attached a, a uh, indoor outdoor wet dry vac that someone was throwing out with a little adapter I bought at the home improvement store connected to the back of the saw. I bought this little gizmo um, online so when the saw trigger is turned on it automatically turns on the wet dry vac so we're gonna suck most of the sawdust when we're cutting into here automatically and I don't have to turn on the shop vac uh, you know separate with a separate switch you just this turns on this turns on you mean you don't have to remember you want to see what happens Watch. When this turns on, this unit senses the power draw and turns on your shop vac automatically. What this does is greatly reduce the amount of sawdust that goes flying around your shop. I mean, there's yeah, there's some here, but it's kind of a neat little DIY thing. To top it off, I had an IKEA rolling wired rack here that I put the shop vac in and I mounted some wood on the top of it here and I screwed in my chop saw. What I like about this is I can <laughs> roll this into the corner uh, when I'm not using it. it. You know, it's kind of big, but it just makes it a lot easier and you don't have like a big table to move around. So I just wanted to share with you, it's an IKEA hack and it's a nice DIY thing. Um, a, get a decent compound miter saw or chop saw. Maybe you have a shop vac laying around you're not using. Maybe there's a broken one your neighbor has. Just fix it up. Put it underneath here. Keep just your shop clean. fix it up. Just fix it up. Yeah. Just fix it up. So there you go. If you like what we're seeing here, you can hit our subscribe button. We put out shows every week. Subscribe here or get our email. There's an email click. You can click up here and get our emails as well. All right. And also there's notes below to sign up as well. So thanks for watching. Let me know. Do you have some IKEA hacks or little DIY shop things that you guys have done? I'd like to hear about it down in the comments. See ya.